for you, Popsicle Christine. Yeah, let's tell everybody. Yeah, that's a good girl. Good girl. Tell everybody you got a new angel baby. Yeah, you got you a new angel baby. Yeah, that's a good girl. Take care of you, baby. Watch your wings, baby. Watch hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. Well, guys, thank you for coming back over here and joining me for another Bible study. You saw Chrissy got a popsicle in the intro. She also has a new angel baby that she loves. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Maybe it'll brighten your day up, make you feel a little bit better. I've got Psalm 43 pulled up for us for our study. It's a prayer for help. Do you feel like you're in distress right now? Do you feel like you can't take any more of the spiritual warfare that's going on? Maybe you feel like Jesus is not coming. I've also got some verses pulled up indicating and showing us again that he is on the way. He can't lie to us, and he hasn't come yet because he's patient. So why don't you come over here and hang out with me? Everything's going to be okay. We'll open up with prayer and give thanks, and then we'll get started. Thank you guys so much. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you now, and I give you thanks for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for your blood and your grace and your mercy. I pray for no interference with this message. Please protect us as we study your word. Father, I pray for the families and the children of my subscribers. Please wrap your wings around them and whisper to them that they are not alone. Please make a way for their finances, Lord, their sickness and disease. I ask that it be gone because you are the great physician. Please take it away from them today, Father, and make a way. Please raise us up, and we will glorify you and magnify you. We thank you, and we love and miss you, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our study with Psalm 43, a prayer for help. Do you feel like you're in distress right now? You're alone. Nobody understands you. Maybe you're on an island and the spiritual warfare is out of control. You feel like there's no way out of it. Well, I can assure you that prayer is what we need to focus on right now in these final moments. Like Paul said, pray without ceasing. We never stop. We have to do that because that's our 24-hour hotline to the Lord. We have to utilize that in the right manner and go to him with everything and cry out to him for whatever we need. Psalm 43 says, Vindicate me, God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation. Save me from the deceitful and unjust person. For you are the God of my strength. Why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? This is exactly what the enemy wants to do, is steal our joy, steal our song, take everything away from us that the Lord has given us, and just walk around and be depressed and upset. Well, you're not going to do that, and I'm not going to do that. The rapture is real. It is a pre-tribulation rapture, and we are commanded to pray without ceasing and to study to show thyself approved. I go by John 14, 6. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No other man cometh to the Father except by me. That's what I'm focused on right now, and I'm watching for my Lord to appear and take us out of this world, but he's not here yet. We have to remain faithful and strong. We have to lean on one another. Verse 3 says, Send out your light and your truth. They shall lead me. They shall bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling places. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God, my exceeding joy, and I will praise you on the lyre, God, my God. We have to praise the Lord, guys. You can do it with me while you're sitting here watching this video. You can put on some worship music. You can sing silently to yourself. You can sing to the Lord. You don't have to be in a certain place to do that. And for anybody that doesn't know what a lyre is, it's a U-shaped instrument. And here's a couple of pictures of it, if you've never actually seen one. So that's what that section is talking about right there. It's always good to praise the Lord in any manner that we can. Verse 5 says, Why are you in despair, my soul? And why are you restless within me? Wait for God. For I will again praise him for the help of his presence, my God. 
All right, guys, come over here with me, and we're going to take a look at these verses that are talking about the rapture. Now, a mocker and a naysayer, non-believer, would definitely chime in right here and say, Sean, the word rapture is not in the Bible. I hear that quite a bit. So I've got something pulled up for us today. Instead of talking about it, I'm going to show you the Greek translation of rapture. It means harpazo, and that is defined as to snatch away or to seize. And I'm telling you, that's exactly what Jesus is about to do to his church. He's coming. He hasn't yet because he's patient. We have to remain obedient and be disciplined. Let's take a look at this verse together. 1 Thessalonians 1.10 says, And to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. Colossians 3.4 says, When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. I don't need the word rapture to be in the Bible, guys. I believe what my King and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, tells me and promises me. He is coming. We're not destined for wrath. Luke 12.40 it says, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. It's going to catch everybody off guard, especially a non-believer. It'll be like a thief in the night. Luke 21, 36 says, but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. Don't you want to look at, look at the Lord and have him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. You know, you fought the good fight. That's what we're all striving for. 1 Thessalonians 5.3 While people are saying there is peace and security, then sudden destruction will come upon them as labor pains come upon a pregnant woman and they will not escape. Guys, you already saw the video that we did. The King of Jordan standing next to the ice cream man at the podium and what's coming out of their mouths. Peace and safety and peace and security and peace and safety. So we have seen this many times. I believe that to be another precursor because nobody knows when that day is. But we are all patiently and eagerly waiting for it. And we believe Luke 17, 34. I tell you, in that night, there will be two in one bed. One will be taken and the other left. It's going to happen, guys. Not everybody is saved. We have to remain steadfast and a confidence of the Lord and his word and his promise that he's coming and tell as many people as we can before he gets here. Romans 10, 9, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Guys, please make sure you're going by these verses, John 14, 6, John 3, 16. I appreciate you more than you know. If you need anything from me, reach out for prayer. It is a pre-tribulation rapture, guys. I'll tell you right here at the end again, do not let anybody change your mind about that or make your opinion sway, or your faith, or anything like that. He is on the way. He's the Alpha and Omega and the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He can't leave us. I'm trying to tell you, he can't leave us, guys. He's not going to. We're not destined for wrath. I really hope that this message lifted you up and motivated you. We're going to have a great weekend, and I want you to share this video. Share it with somebody that maybe doesn't believe today and just see what happens. It'll make you feel better. The Lord will see what you're doing and you'll have a little bit more peace of mind knowing that you did the right thing. It doesn't matter what people say about you or me. What matters is that Jesus made a promise to us and he is about to fulfill that promise, guys. I love you. I miss you. I'm praying for you. If the rapture isn't right now, a few moments from now or even tonight, just do what we always say over here. You keep looking up and we'll see you up top.